Hey guys, it's me, Nikki Limo. You might know me from my YouTube channel where I do comedy sketches and vlogs. But right now, I'm here filling in for Jacob. Every day, YouTube Nation brings you the best videos around. Today, we have Disney acapella, Let it snow. a unicorn slayer, and Hannah Hart's VidCon tips. Don't forget to spray tan. The Mammy fun rig. Last March, a film student at the University of Texas in Austin racked up over 30 million views by singing the story of what happens to Disney's princesses after Ever After. Well, guess what? John Cozart's back. He just released this sequel, and it already has over a million views since Tuesday. We're going green by spilling red, and if you're not dead, I built a horde of evil snowmen. Each part is filmed in a single take, which is nuts considering how spot on the harmonies are, and this guy is only 22 years old. Princess Leia better watch her back. Guys, I'm starting a new diet. I'm moving on to a protein that's nutrient rich, environmentally friendly, and more abundant than most other foods on the earth. I'm talking about bugs. This compelling piece on the merits of a bug-based diet was just uploaded by ASAP Science, and they make some pretty interesting points. It's not like our mouths have never tasted insects before. For every 100 grams of spinach, 50 small insects like aphids, thrips, and mites are permitted. Peanut butter is allowed to contain roughly 30 insect fragments, and even the hops used to make your favorite beer can contain 258 aphids per 100 grams. If you're thinking of switching to a creepy crawler diet and you need some recipes, head over to ASAP Thought because I got some great tips on how to cook these bugs. <laughs> Delicious. Summer's here, but if you weren't cool enough to be invited to a pool party, don't worry, Rhett and Link's wearable pool system is here to the rescue. The guys just released this, and while the ideas are great in theory, the application of them is, um... Pool boots, also known as pools. The pool shirt. Rhett. I feel great, my butt feels really good. Pool pants, or plants. <laughs> pool head. For more summer ideas, be sure to tune in tomorrow for our special beach style episode. There are over 12 million skateboarders in this country, but less than a quarter of those are female. Three six-year-old girls are about to change all that. God bless America. The New York Times just posted this short doc on the Pink Helmet Posse of Encinitas, California. It also screened at the Tribeca Film Festival. What I'm learning is there's no limits to what they can do. I think it's pretty cool that six-year-old little girls are dropping in bowls and stuff. I'd like to see the Pink Helmet Posse everywhere, and little girls everywhere are just having fun skateboarding. I think that'd be awesome. If you think you can handle more of this impressive skate action, they have their own Instagram account and their own website and shop. Oh, That was an adorable face plant. I love VidCon. It is like spring break, but with less wet t-shirt contests and more socially awkward YouTubers. And it's happening right now! But if you're a first timer, you might want to listen closely to Hannah Hart. Tip number one, have a great time. Tip number two, have a great time. Tip number next, stay hydrated. You guys are gonna get really thirsty from all the screaming and the chasing that's going on. And now I'd like to stress the most important element of VidCon. Deodorant, deodorant, deodorant. Jacob is there right now and tomorrow we're posting a special VidCon episode featuring some of your favorite YouTube creators. Carly also put together a playlist of VidCon moments to get you ready for the big weekend. I will see you there. If you see me, you better say hi or I will feel lonely. So here's a little secret. I am generally not fond of baby videos, but I'll make an exception for this one because it is just a piece of YouTube brilliance. February 14th, 2011, twin babies just talking to each other. It was one of those videos that the entire internet just stopped to watch. The video spawned a number of parodies, including one from College Humor, and Patton Oswalt even got in a diaper to recreate this video. This video just hit 100 million views. Very few videos ever reached that mark, and these two little kids did it. You got a favorite video from the past? Leave it in the comments with the hashtag Throwback Thursday. Every Saturday, this show is devoted to one subject, and this week, it's awesome POV videos like this one. <laughs> Jacob's back tomorrow with the VidCon special, but until then, play us out, Lydia Ainsworth! <laughs>